Hi, and welcome to the Dawn Show. Dawn Stensland Menti here. Well, fall is here, and fall is a great time to visit the Philadelphia Zoo. And here to tell us what's going on at the zoo is Aaron McCool DeLong, Director of Outreach Programs at the Philadelphia Zoo. So good to have you here. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Well, you know, I love talking about animals and obviously this is what you do. So, you know, we have the, the jack-o'-lantern and the Halloween theme. Mm -hmm. What's going on with this? Well, this looks like a snake. He looks like a snake. And I always say he is a lizard dressed up like a snake. He's got his costume on. <laughs> um, but he is a legless lizard. I brought him out because he's a little creepy, so we're talking about Halloween. Yeah. I thought it'd be kind of cool. Boo at the zoo. Boo we'll at the zoo. That. That's right. Um, but he's got some real differences between a snake. Most people think they're snakes. Um, if you look closely, you would never win a staring contest with a snake because they don't have eyelids. But uh, Nazar here does have eyelids. Nazar also has, here if I'll go to you there, he also has ear holes. So okay. on the either side of his head, he's got two little pinholes. Those are his see. ears. And then along his body, he's got a line. That's his body line. And right about where, and he moves see differently than a snake. Yeah, that's a good right about shot. here is where his tail is. And you can tell, you're learning, that he moves much differently yeah, than a snake that. does. Cool. Yeah. And the tail, it feels so different, different than the top of his body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you see how he kind of will throw himself around in the brush where a snake will push off of rocks and leaves. And he's kind of like, slither. almost like a clumsy, he like. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of clumsy. So that snake's on drugs. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me about uh, Boo at the Zoo. Well, so we've got Boo at the Zoo happening at the end of October, the last two weekends in October. And this is the, the Halloween event. Um, we ask our little kids and our families to come dressed up in their costumes. We've had families, all, whole families dressed up in a costume. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we have candy stations throughout the zoo and we're really excited because some of the companies this year are committed to using uh, sustainable palm oil in their candy, which is a great thing to help wildlife. Um, we've got a parade, a costume parade that the kids can participate in uh, and crafts and activities throughout the zoo. And so here's some of the information for Boo at the Zoo, Saturday, October 19th and 26th, Sunday, October 20th, 27th. That's 10 to 4, so you have great mm -hmm. hours. Yep. And the trick-or-treat at the stations throughout the zoo, storytelling, games, crafts. It's all included. And those live performances. Yep. So what's amazing is, you know, like you said, it's all included and it's right. safe. And it's safe, yeah. And sometimes, in the, you know, in Philadelphia, South Jersey and points beyond, you know, people nowadays are more nervous about right. kids going out trick-or-treating. So right. to have it self-contained in the zoo, it's a lot of fun. Yes, and it, it's a know. great day for the whole family. And it's Halloween themed, but it's not super scary. So it's something that everyone will enjoy. It's a lot of fun. And you mentioned the palm oil. And ever since you told me this, because palm oil is so so healthy to cook with, mm -hmm. but I did find at Whole Foods the palm oil and it says animal safe, orangutan yeah. safe. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting when you think about, you know, and I teach my kids about this too, in right. other words, try to buy products that you know are not harming animals environments. Right. Mm -hmm. We really want people to be engaged in helping us save wildlife and that's sort of um, an issue that we've been looking at for the past three years and the Philadelphia Zoo is involved in helping companies get on board and finding out where their palm oil is coming from and sus using sustainable palm oil in their in their foods and products. Yeah, because at first the company said, well, we're not sure. It's like, if they don't know where they're getting the food, that's even, an even bigger problem. So right. why not just tell people where they're getting it from? Right, right, right. So, um, and you know, we've got a couple campaigns going and we really um, want people to look at it in a positive aspect and applaud those that are doing the right thing. And Erin, one of the things, Last time you were on um, was this summer, and I told you my son Michael, age nine, took the animal advocacy right. camp. And he at did the a zoo. campaign. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he loved it yes. and learned all about polar bears. But the coolest thing that he learned was the connection between turning off the light switch. And, and helping the environment. Right. And feeling good about himself to say, oh, you know, and of course the I parents this. love this because I it, can, <laughs> yep. it lowers and the Pico bill. It, it lowers your bill and it's great for kids from all backgrounds and all ages to really feel empowered that where they are, they can make a difference in the lives of animals. So that's what it's really all about. Yeah, empowering them. Yeah, yeah. So what do you have with the schools? You, you're you starting up now where people can we sign have, we up have, We have, coming up, we have our Unless contest where uh, school students from across the Delaware Valley can actually participate. They can go online and they're developing a, camp a campaign about palm oil and how they can help save animals by encouraging companies to use sustainable palm oil. So that all that information can be found on our website and we'll be starting that up in just a few few weeks here. 
And so they go to the website and then the schools can compete and they win. They win prizes, they win uh, notoriety on our website, we get the word out, they come in for a press conference at the end of the spring, at the end of the contest. So uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. It's a great, great experience for um, teachers and students. Yeah, it's great. And kids love animals. Mm -hmm. What's amazing is, you know, we, we say scary animals, but this creature is so, he's so gentle. Yeah. He is, and you know, when we first brought him out, we talked about, oh, he kind of look, looks creepy, but <laughs> after you work with him for a few minutes, you realize that he's, really he's just a really cool animal. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Very unique, not something you'd come across here in Pennsylvania. So he's from Asia? Mm -hmm. You find him in Asia, Russia, sort of cold areas. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. Well, when we come back with Aaron, and we're gonna talk more about the Philadelphia Zoo and what's up at the zoo, but we're gonna bring out some creepy, creepy. critters. Yes. Be right back.